on guys, your boy Joey672. Coming to you guys with a video right now. Everyone's got to pump the brakes on the LaShawn McCoy trade rumors. I heard, I just heard about this yesterday. Um, and I'm just like, I'm really confused. I'm not confused, but I heard it was like Jason Kelsey. The, uh, the Bills would have to add another trade partner. Uh, um, I guess their center got hurt. I don't know what the hell happened. Some, some bullshit uh, center gets hurt. Jason Kelsey goes over. Send LaShawn McCoy over. Um, in a trade or whatnot. Look, like we did this. We've already been through this already. We already did this with Deshaun Jackson free agency. We wanted him back. We did this in Jeremy Macklin and free agency. Well, after getting cut by Kansas City and, and wanted him back. Now, the only difference is between all three of these players that were on our team is that Deshaun McCoy has not lost a step at all. He went over 1,200 yards last year and one of, was one of the best running backs in the league last year. So, honestly, there is production there. Honest, obviously, the guy could still play. Obviously, he still, ha he still has it. But the other side is that even if we do get him, that means that they're going to dump whatever salary. They want to dump his salary onto another team. So, I don't know how many years or what he was traded... Two years ago, three, whatever, two years ago, I, I think yeah, I heard what, what not, um, I think it was a, what, a five-year deal, 40-something million, I, I forgot what it was, but to secure our cap space, look, even if we got him, right, and honestly, well, how would I feel about it? I'd be like, oh, man, you got LaShawn McCoy, LeGarrette Blunt to, to do some red zone to get some tough matches, Darren Sproles. And you got a three-headed monster right there. A very nice three-headed monster right there. But the other side is saying that we got 12.6 in cap space right now. And if we have to take on another contract that's as big as his, um, whatever's left of it, it could hurt us in the long run. It could hurt the future of this cap space because we need cap. And we need it now and we need to save it. We got $4 billion from Ryan Matthews. Keep it that way. Um, sorry, I saw something. Um, four million for Ryan Matthews. Keep it that way. And honestly, you know, Alan Barber's off, so we got what one point something million off that. But the or two point, I forgot two million, one point something million, whatever the hell it was. So you saved, you saved a good amount of money so far. Twelve point six million is the highest we've had since before free agency. I think free agency we had uh, after releasing Connor Barwin right at free agency. I think we had about twelve point. 1 12.2 million. Now we have 12.6 million in cap space. I don't know how much that this would actually hurt our team not not for um how productive we're going to be, but in the long run for having cap because we cannot take on big contracts. Now I know it's not the start of his big contract. I know he's already had it for 2 years. So he's got 3 years left on his contract I think right now. I don't know how much money is left or how much has to be you know, the difference has to be deducted and then the other team takes on the rest of the contract. I don't know how much that is going to cost, but if it's going to cost more than a team can handle, um, just to get a few extra wins this year, he could stay over in Buffalo or he can go get traded somewhere else. It's not going to be worth it in the long run. We're talking about the long run, guys. And I'm already hearing Le uh, Le'Veon Bell. I'm already hearing Jarvis Landry. I'm already hearing. I'm already hearing shit for next year. And on top of all that, like, look, I understand. We're, I I hardly doubt we're going to go after a wide receiver in free agency. Free agency. I hardly doubt we're going to go over go get a running back in free agency. I highly doubt that next year. But the Lashawn McCoy trade, I don't think can happen. Okay, I don't think that we could take on a contract like that. We cannot take on a contract just to get somewhere this year. You understand? Like we have to be patient, and we have to just go through a year, or another year, or another two years before anything can happen, or we can get advance, you know, in the playoffs or do something. Because honestly, you cannot, you can't sign that. You just can't do it. There's, there's no other way in saying it, but you just can't do it. I understand, like, everyone's got to take, everybody, I know it's hard, but everyone's got to take their their hearts out of their chest, and they got to think about the business side of this team, and we need to, the gen, it's over, it's, it's, it's over, the time is over, 
The Sean, the Sean Jackson days, over. Macklin, over. LaShawn McCoy, it's over. Okay, and whatever's left on his contract, that's what that we have to pay. But that's money that we don't have to pay. You understand, like, you understand, like, everyone's watching the preseason games. Like, Garrett Blunt's not running. Um, they're running the ball the right way or whatnot. And our stuff's happening. But do you understand that literally our offense actually has played pretty bad. But at the same time, we played very good last year in preseason and the, and the year before that. And we were, like, lights out. And then look what happens to our fucking seasons when you have an undefeated preseason. So it don't fucking matter about the wins. That's why I don't watch the, the, the preseason for wins or losses. I watch them for individuality. I watch them to see how these rookies do and see how these new guys on the team do and see how this offense produces together, how this defense, uh, you know, produces together. So, give it time. We had Chance Warmack. We had Matt Tobin on the fucking offensive line. For God's sakes, like, seriously. Like, we had Matt Tobin. And you expect us to run up the middle? No. No. As soon as I saw that lineup pop up on the screen, I saw all their faces pop up, I was like... We're fucked on the run game tonight, and I guessed right, and it happened. So we were kind of screwed. And we cannot be vulnerable to, oh, let's just get him. Let's just get him on the team. Come on, just bring him on over. Just bring him on over. Yeah, I understand that. But we can't do everything in one fucking year. We can't get all these dudes. It's not going to happen. The cap, we only have so much cap. We need cap to sign Jeffrey. We need cap to sign other guys at the end of the year. We'll have good cap. We're going to be making moves by the end of the year. Trust me. Between Kelsey and Kendricks and a few other guys that will be off this team. They will make moves and they will make cap space. We will have a good amount of cap space by the end of this year. Trust me on that. But we cannot be vulnerable and just go say go go get LaShawn McCoy. Now, if there was some type of deal, I don't know what kind of deal they could make. Um if they promise to pay a certain amount and we'll pro and we're, you know, like to split it, or I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But if we got to take on that contract, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Would I want him on this team if he was cheaper? And you know, Yeah, I would. I would want him on this team. But for how much it's going to cost? It's going to cost us our cap for the future? No, no fucking way. No way. The time's right. Let's go to the fucking draft. Let's go do something next year in the draft or something. I don't care what it is. I'm not saying get a top five running back next year because it's probably going to cost a fortune. But do something to where we're going to... At least get some. We need a young franchise running back, okay? LaShawn McCoy, even he hasn't lost a step. He don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen in a few years. He could die down. I Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But all I'm saying is, let this shit pass by. If something happens, it does. If it doesn't, then we need we need guys to grow with Carson. Simple as that. In that offense, we need guys. Look, Garrett Blunt is a rental for this year to get us through some, you know, get this run game going. And that's it. We got Darren Sproles that hasn't even played a snap yet. And so that makes a difference that he hasn't even fucking played a snap. So that's all I really got to say. But I'm not for it. If he gets here, cool. If if not, I'm, it's fine because we got to save this cap, guys. We cannot be spending. We, we can't. I mean, it's we just can't do it. So that's all I got to say about that. I'll see you guys later. Fly, let's fly. See you guys later.